Good day everyone! Today we will be talking about another application of percentage base and rate which is simple interest. Let's read this story for today. Amanda deposited 20,000 pesos in her savings account. If her bank pays 0.05% simple annual interest rate, how much is her interest after 5 years? This problem is asked for the simple interest. But before answering, let us first define the key terms. What is simple interest? An interest pertains to the amount earned or paid for the use of money or paid or earned only on the principal. Other key terms here, we have principal, that is the amount of money deposited or borrowed. And when you say amount balance, it is the sum of the interest and principal. Interest is a percentage. Using the Tekken's triangle, the formula for the percentage is base times the rate. Our base here is the principal or the original value times the rate of interest times the time which is in years. So our formula is I for the interest is equal to principal times the rate of interest times the time. Now let's go back to our word problem. If Amanda deposited 20,000 pesos in her savings account and her bank pays 0.05% simple annual interest rate, how much is her interest after 5 years? So our equation here is 20,000 pesos, that is the principal amount, times the rate of interest which is 0.05% times the time in years which is 5 years. We just have to multiply these three values. We have 20,000 multiplied by, we can just multiply it by 5 first and then multiply it without 0.05%. So we have here 100,000. Okay, then 100,000 will be multiplied to 0.05% but remember since this is in percent we need to change this in decimal number so remove the percent symbol move the decimal point two places to the left so this 0.05% will become 0.0005 in decimal number then we multiply that one two three four five five zeros Multiply 5 times 1. Count the decimal places. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. From here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, the simple interest or Amanda's interest after 5 years is 50 pesos. Let's have another example. Arthur's employer lent him 5,000 pesos so he can pay his bills. He charges Arthur 5% simple interest rate. How much interest will Arthur pay his employer in one year? So we're looking for interest and to find for the interest, since it's percentage, we just have to multiply the principal amount that Arthur borrowed times the rate of interest, which is 5% times multiplied in years, which is one year. So 5,000 times 5% times 1. 5,000 times 1 is 5,000. So just have to write 5,000 times 0.05. The 0.05 here is the decimal number of 5%. So we have 1, 2, 3, 25. No need to multiply the other zeros. Just count the decimal places. 1, 2, 1, 2. Therefore, um, Arthur's interest in one year is 250 pesos. Next, mother deposited 25,000 pesos in a savings account that earns 2% interest. How much will she earn in 3 years? And how much will her amount balance be after 3 years? So first, we're looking for the interest. We have the formula for the interest principal, which is 25,000 times the rate of interest, which is 2%, times the years, which is 3 years. So let's solve 25,000 times 3. So again, you can either multiply 25,000 times 2%, then multiply to 3, or vice versa, because it's a commutative property of multiplication. The answer would still be the same. So we have here 15 carry 1, this is 7. So this is 75,000 multiplied by 2%, or 0 0.02 in decimal number. So we have 1, 2, 3, 10 carry 1, 15. Count the decimal places, 1, 2, from here, 1, 2. Then the answer is 
for the interest in three years, she earns 1,500 pesos. The next question is the amount balance. When you say amount balance, that is the sum of the principal plus the interest. So what we're gonna do is to just add the principal amount, which is 25,000, plus the interest, which is 1,500. So the amount balance is 26,500. Last example. Lila deposited 20,000 pesos in a bank which offers a 2.5% interest rate. How much is her interest after 18 months? So we're looking for the interest again and we just multiply the principal which is 20,000 pesos times the rate which is 2.5% times what I put here is 1.5 because here is the given 18 months. And since the formula is in years, so we need to convert this 18 months to years. And we know that in 12 months, we have here uh, one year, right? And for six more months, to make it 18, this is half a year. And when you say half a year, that is in decimal number, it's 0 0.5. So 1 plus 0.5 is 1.5. So be careful to not just multiply it to 18 because the unit is in months and in the formula it should be in years. Okay, so let's multiply. We have 20,000 times 1.5. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, okay, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0,3 count the decimal places it's only 1 30,000 uh, get finished you just have to multiply that to 0 0.025 for the interest rate so 0, 0, 0, 0, 15, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 7 and count the decimal places 1, 2, 3 we have 1, 2, Three. Therefore, her interest after 18 months is 750 pesos. Next, what we'll be talking about is tax. So, what is tax? Tax is a financial charge or contribution imposed upon a person or company by the government to fund various public expenditures. Other key terms, we have your sales tax, a tax paid to a governing body for the sale of certain goods and services. We also have your value added tax or known as VAT. It's a form of sales tax. This has been imposed to support the infrastructure projects of the government. And income tax is the tax on a person's income profit about by the exercise of his profession. So when you say tax, it's also a percentage. And to find for the tax, we just have to multiply the amount of the item times the rate of sales tax. Let's have an example here. If the sales tax is 7%, what will be the tax on a purchase of 1,500 pesos? So our equation here, since tax is a percentage, we multiply the base or the amount of the item or the original price times 7% which is the rate of sales tax. So we multiply 1,500 times 0 0.07, 0, 0, 0, 35, 33, 10. Count the decimal places to Therefore, the tax is 105 pesos and the total amount that the buyer we're gonna pay is 1,500 plus this 105 pesos. But usually in, our, in the receipt, if we go to the grocery stores or if we buy in the restaurants, it's already included in the price of the item. Let's have another example here about taxes. The house of Mr. Aaron has an assessed value of 1.4 million. If the tax rate is 8% of the assessed value, what is the tax due on the house? So again, tax is a percentage. You just have to multiply the amount of the item times 8%. So we have 1,400, 1,400,000 and 0 0.08. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 32, 33, 11, count the decimal places. So we have here is 112,000 pesos. 
Next, if the sales tax rate charged by an appliance center is 12%, how much is the tax of the rice cooker that cost 1,950 pesos? So still the same, use the uh, percentage formula, 1,950 times 12%, 1,950 times 0.12, 0, 10, carry 1, 19, carry 1, 3, 0, 5, 9, 1, 0, 0, 14, carry 1, 13, carry 1. The answer is the tax of the rice cooker is 200, 234 pesos.